What's up guys and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to go over some unorthodox plays from the first few weeks of the Madden Ultimate League that actually ended up working. I know a lot of schemes revolve around a select few formations and for good reasons and stuff like Gun Bunch is super strong, but it's always fun to see weird schemes and plays be successful in competitive Madden. So leading things off, we have a play from Chaos in his matchup against Tweez. And now Chaos runs a Trips tight end based offense which is certainly a well respected scheme throughout the community, however him being the lone player representing the scheme in the Ultimate League, I thought it warranted a spot on the list. The play is going to be PA counter go which is notoriously good for beating man to man due to the double speed out routes being run on both sides of the field. Now in this case it ends up doing a great job of flooding Tweez's zone defense. Tweez goes with a 5 man crossfire rush with some wacky backside adjustments. He blitzes his right outside linebacker and then shades underneath to get hard flats on the outside along with allowing his strong safety in the three receiver hook to play aggressively over the middle. And then he turns the left side of his defense into a Tampa 2 by putting his free safety in a deep half and his cornerback into a cloud flat. Now, However, on the right side he wants to keep the three receiver hook from the strong safety. So to compensate he drops into what is essentially a cover 2 invert look by putting his cornerback into a deep half. He then wraps it up by using the left side middle linebacker over the middle of the field. Now, Chaos makes a few adjustments himself, he motions in Evan Ingram to pick up the pressure, drags the far outside receiver, and swings his halfback out of the backfield to the right. This is where the speed out by the tight end comes in clutch. Chaos reads the high low on the outside flat defender, which like we mentioned earlier is in a hard flat covering the halfback due to the underneath shading. Tweez recognizes the route concept, but is a step too late to catch up to the quick cut by Pruitt towards the sideline. Now, had this been a standard corner route, Tweez probably would have had an opportunity to undercut the route, but because of the hard 90 degree cut, he isn't able to recover and it results in a nice first down for Chaos. Now, second, we have a play from Joel in his Ultimate League debut against Ghost, where he surprised everyone by running the run and shoot playbook. Facing a crucial fourth down situation, he goes with the RNS switch dig play and catches Ghost's super aggressive nickel 335 defense sleeping. Ghost sends six and pretty much converts into a cover zero look by manning up his free safety on the outside left receiver, his outside corner on the slot receiver, and his strong safety on the outside right receiver leaving only the right side cloud flat as the last remaining piece of the Tampa 2. And Joel blocks six hot routes both slot receivers to hitches and fades the outside right receiver. At the snap, Ghost knows that the right slot is the only receiver who's not manned up and instantly shows him his attention. Now, this allows the left side routes to develop without any user interference, where T.Y. Hilton's elite route running and speed allow for him to beat Ronnie Lott deep for a huge play for Joel. Next up we have True Boy out of the single back wing flex formation, where he calls Quick Slant, which looks like a super basic play on the surface. When looked at closely though, you can see that the slant route from the far left receiver actually gets more depth than a normal slant and is more of a hybrid between a slant and a post route. He ends up using this to his advantage by creating a flood concept using a short motion pre-snap to allow for the backside post route to fill in where a corner route would be in a more traditional flood concept, such as out of a play like Y Sail. Asafa goes with a three-man rush from cover two sink where he makes a common adjustment of putting his right side middle linebacker into a deep third before spying his left outside linebacker and putting his right outside linebacker into a hard flat, which ends up being a crucial adjustment on this play. Now, the flood concept works as planned as the zig route from the tight end pulls the flat zone out towards the sideline, forcing Safa to user the post route, crossing over the middle of the field. The last adjustment on the play, which may seem trivial, was True Boy putting his other wide receiver on a curl route, who ends up getting wide open because of the fact that Safa put his right outside linebacker, who was originally in a vertical hook out of that cover 2 sink look, into a hard flat. Larry Wilson almost makes a play on the ball, but True Boy threads the needle and ends up picking up 18 yards. The final example is going to be from Tweez's matchup against Safa where he utilized a rarely seen play out of the ever popular West Coast playbook, the QB draw from single back doubles wide open. Now, this turns into a pure numbers game and in this situation Safa's in-depth knowledge of the West Coast playbook might have actually hurt him. The main thing about this play is that the halfback automatically motions out of the backfield pre-snap, tipping off what play could be coming. Now, at the snap, it seems like Safa recognizes what is coming and he immediately 
immediately crashes to the middle of the field with his user defender. The problem is that his defender, the right side middle linebacker, was the last line of defense on the right edge as Derrick Henry motioning out of the backfield gave Tweez a 3-on-3 three -three blocking scenario on the right side of the field. Tweez realizes he has the numbers advantage on the edge, instantly spins out of his drop back, and ends up walking into the end zone untouched. Well, that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Just a few plays that I thought were really unique and ended up working out in the Madden Ultimate League. As always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take it easy.